Hi, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Feathers. I will be making your weekly grammar videos for you. Um, our first pages that are assigned to us are pages one through four. This week, we will be reviewing sentences, sentence fragments, and the four sentence types. I do wanna say that when I am recording these videos, I'm in our classroom by myself, which is why I don't have a mask or shield on. Your first page is page one. And on this page, we are going to be looking at sentences, sentence fragments, capital letters, and punctuation marks. The box at the top of the page tells me that a sentence is a group of words that shows a complete thought. A sentence fragment is a group of words that does not show a complete thought. And every sentence should begin with a capital letter and end with a punctuation mark, whether that is a period, exclamation point, or question mark. On this page, we are just identifying if these groups of words are complete sentences or sentence fragments. Again, this should be review from third grade. The directions state to read each group of words. On the lines provided, write sentence if the group of words forms a sentence and write fragment if it does not form a sentence. We're going to do two examples together. Number one says, there are many stars in the sky. This sentence has a subject and a predicate, meaning it is a complete group of words and it forms a sentence. On the line, I'm going to write sentence. Number two says, brought it into the kitchen. Who? Who brought it into the kitchen? The sentence is missing its subject, therefore it is not a complete thought, meaning it's a sentence fragment. So I'm going to write fragment on the line. You will continue these directions for numbers three through 10. Page two, we are reviewing the types of sentences so our box is reminding us that a sentence shows a complete thought and a sentence fragment does not. And then we're going to review the different types of sentences. The first type of sentence is a statement. So a statement just tells us something. For example, I am going to the store. I'm just telling you where I'm going. The second type of sentence is a question. So a question asks you something. For example, do you want to come with me? I'm asking you something. The third type of sentence is a command. A command is a sentence that tells someone to do something. Put the book on the shelf. I am commanding you or telling you to do something. And the fourth type of sentence is an exclamation. This type of sentence uses expression and it shows excitement or surprise or a strong feeling. For example, wow, you did a really good job today. That would be an exclamation. The directions on this page says, read each group of words, underline the group of words that is a sentence, then write statement question, command, or exclamation to name the type of sentence it is. So these directions have two parts. We're going to do two examples together. Number one says, live far away from me and you live far away. I need to decide which one of these is an example of a complete thought or a sentence. The first one seems to be missing a subject and the second one has both my subject and predicate. So I'm going to underline you live far away because it is an example of a sentence. 
And this sentence is just a statement. It is just stating that you live far away. I'm going to write statement on the line. So again, two parts of these directions. Let's look at another example. Is it in here? The book in here? I need to decide which one of these questions is a complete thought. Is it in here? Seems to be a complete thought. And the book in here is a fragment. So I am going to underline once my computer loads. I'm going to underline the first one here. And then I already stated that this is a question. It is asking something. You will repeat these directions for numbers three through 10. Your next page is number three. On this page, we're looking specifically at sentence punctuation. In the box, it reminds me that every sentence begins with a capital letter. A statement ends with a period. A question ends with a question mark. A command can end in either a period or exclamation mark. And an exclamation ends with an exclamation point. On this page, it says to write each sentence correctly using capital letters and end to punctuation. We also need to label each sentence as a statement, question, command, or exclamation. Again, I'm going to do two examples with you. You only have three more to do by yourself. Number one says, put the bottle in the bin outside. That sentence seems to be commanding or telling somebody to do something. So I am going to label it as a command. And then I'm going to correctly write it on the line. I need to make sure I capitalize the beginning of the sentence and put end punctuation. I have my capital P in put and I have my period at the end of my command. The box told me that a command can end with a period or exclamation mark. This sentence doesn't have a lot of expression behind it, so I am going to just end with a period. Number two says, who is your favorite actor? This sentence is asking something, so I'm going to label it as a question. And then I need to rewrite it correctly with a capital letter. and end punctuation as a question mark. You can repeat these directions for three, four, and five. Your last and final page is usually a proofreading page. So the box at the top just reminds you of everything that you went over on pages one through three. Um, I'm going to read through the box with you and then we'll go over directions. The first bullet point says a sentence shows a complete thought, a sentence fragment does not. A statement is a sentence that tells something. A question is a sentence that asks something. A command is a sentence that tells someone to do something. An exclamation is a sentence that expresses a strong feeling. Every sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a period question mark or exclamation mark. On this page, you are rewriting the paragraphs below, correcting any mistakes you find. We're going to do the first one together. I'm going to look at, at each sentence one by one. Today was the best day ever. I see that I'm missing a capital letter and this isn't a question, it should be an exclamation. So 
So I want to fix by adding a capital T and an exclamation point at the end. The next sentence says, woke up to find that it snowed last night. Hmm, that seems to be a fragment. So I need to add something to the beginning to make it a complete thought. I am going to add the word I so that the sentence then reads, I woke up to find that it snowed last night. I'm going to leave the period at the end because that is just a statement. The next one says, was no school. Again, this is missing the subject of the sentence. It should read, there was no school. I'm going to leave the exclamation point at the end because I'm sure that you would be very excited if there was no school. The next sentence says, I made a snowman with my sister. That sentence looks okay to me. It's just a statement. So I have my capital I and I have my period at the end. And finally, I have, then we went sledding. Again, I'm missing a capital letter and the end punctuation is incorrect. That is just a statement. So I need to have a period at the end and a capital T and then. You will repeat these same directions for number two and three. And then those will be your grammar practice pages for this week. As you are going through these pages, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. If you want myself, Mr. Casper, or Mrs. Oliver to look over any of your pages, take a picture and send it to us and we will be happy to help you. Have a great day. Bye fourth grade.